A soft, unmistakable reddish glow pulses steadily from the shoulder of the constellation Orion. Faint yet persistent, it shimmers quietly against the velvet backdrop of the night sky. This glow comes from one of the most iconic stars visible to humanity, Betelgeuse. Easily seen with the naked eye, Betelgeuse has served for centuries as a familiar celestial landmark, a fiery beacon guiding stargazers. But behind its captivating glow lies something far more powerful and potentially ominous. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star, nearing the final stages of its life. It is not just a stunning light in the sky, but a colossal cosmic engine behaving in ways scientists had never anticipated. Recently, an extraordinary event captured the attention of the global scientific community. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced observatory ever launched by humanity, recorded a dramatic surge in Betelgeuse's brightness. Its luminosity shot up by an astonishing 250%. This sudden, intense change sent ripples of excitement and uncertainty throughout astronomy. What forces could have awakened this sleeping giant? Betelgeuse is far from an ordinary star. It is a massive red supergiant, a stellar titan in the twilight of its existence, living out the final, volatile chapters of its cosmic life story. Located approximately 642 light years away from Earth, Betelgeuse ranks among the largest and brightest stars in our galaxy. To put its size into perspective, if Betelgeuse replaced our Sun at the center of our solar system, its outer surface would extend beyond the orbit of Mars, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars itself. Its iconic orange-red hue is a familiar sight in winter skies, a glowing testament to the power and fragility of nature. Betelgeuse embodies both the grandeur and the instability of stellar evolution. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse live in a constant state of turmoil. Their enormous cores burn through nuclear fuel at a frantic pace, fusing heavier and heavier elements as they approach the end of their lives. Unlike our relatively stable Sun, Betelgeuse undergoes a regular expansion and contraction cycles in its outer layers. These shifts cause noticeable fluctuations in brightness, which astronomers have observed with keen interest for decades. Until now, these changes were considered typical for a star of its type, an aging star's natural behavior. But this latest surge is far from ordinary. Equipped with cutting-edge infrared instruments capable of penetrating thick cosmic dust clouds, the James Webb Space Telescope was able to peer deep into the heart of Betelgeuse. What it found was astonishing. Within just a few weeks, the star's brightness increased rapidly and inexplicably. Why? That's the question hanging in the silence of deep space. One leading theory suggests that Betelgeuse is entering the final phase of its life the prelude to a supernova explosion. Inside its core, fusion of heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and neon has reached a critical point. These signs indicate that the star is on the verge of producing iron, the last element a massive star can fuse before its life ends. Fusion of iron is a dead end, it consumes more energy than it produces. When the star's core accumulates iron, the delicate balance between radiation pressure pushing outward and gravity pulling inward collapses. Gravity wins, crushing the core inward until it rebounds in a violent explosion, a supernova so intense it can briefly outshine entire galaxies. Should Betelgeuse explode, the cosmic spectacle would be breathtaking. The explosion would be visible from Earth, even during daylight, casting eerie shadows and dominating the sky for weeks or even months. But despite its brilliance and relative closeness, Betelgeuse poses no danger to life on Earth. At 642 light-years away, the radiation from such an event would be safely diffused by the vast distance, allowing us to witness this magnificent display as privileged observers. Yet, not all scientists agree that Betelgeuse's rapid brightening signals imminent doom. Some believe there's a less catastrophic explanation. Deep within Betelgeuse, massive convection cells, giant bubbles of hot plasma, constantly rise and fall, driven by turbulent internal flows. These cells can eject enormous amounts of gas and dust into space, temporarily increasing the star's brightness. It's essentially a colossal stellar weather system, with violent storms and flares far beyond anything we experience on Earth. 
Indeed, Beetlejuice has shown this behavior before. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star dimmed dramatically, baffling astronomers worldwide. Some speculated it was entering the final stages of its life, while others proposed that Betelgeuse had expelled a thick dust cloud that temporarily obscured its light. That dust likely dispersed over time, explaining the star's gradual return to brightness and the surge we see now. Adding more complexity to this cosmic puzzle is Betelgeuse's magnetic field, a powerful but invisible force threading through the star like cosmic lightning. This magnetic field shapes plasma flows, directs energy, and may even ignite massive stellar storms. Often compared to a subconscious mind, silent but mighty, this magnetic activity could be a key player in Betelgeuse's recent behavior. Recent models suggest that beneath the star's surface, a magnetic dynamo churns, generating and releasing tremendous energy in rhythmic pulses. If this internal engine suddenly twists or snaps, it could send shock waves rippling through the star's outer layers, triggering the abrupt increase in brightness we now observe. Such a magnetic eruption might look to distant observers like the star signaling its final moments, a grand, fiery farewell before collapse. Could this be the cosmic message we're witnessing? A flare of warning before Betelgeuse's ultimate fate is sealed? As Betelgeuse's mystery deepens, the James Webb Space Telescope remains vigilant. Its unblinking eye continues to monitor every pulse of energy, every photon emitted, revealing more secrets with each observation and raising new questions. Could this brilliant surge be the last whispered breath of a dying star? Or is it a transformative rebirth cloaked in plasma and radiant light? If Betelgeuse does explode, it will be the closest supernova observed in recorded human history, a once-in-a-millennium event that will illuminate our skies, inspire awe, and provide invaluable insights into how the universe creates and destroys its most powerful objects. But there is another, more poetic possibility. What if Betelgeuse isn't dying but evolving? What if this 250% brightness surge marks not an ending, but a beginning? Some astrophysicists speculate that Betelgeuse may be undergoing a stellar metamorphosis, a phase never before witnessed directly. A cosmic transformation where the star's internal elements realign and the giant reorganizes itself for one final, extended act in its epic life. Right now, we stand on the edge of revelation, watching in silence and wonder. Betelgeuse is more than just a star. It is a reflection of time, of cosmic cycles, of birth and destruction, of mystery and inevitability. The universe reminds us that change, no matter how massive or distant, is always unfolding. As humanity gazes upon this fiery sentinel pulsing in Orion's shoulder, we do more than observe. We bear witness to the secrets of the stars, to the delicate mechanics of fate written in light, and to the unfolding story of a giant that may at any moment write the final sentence of its own epic saga. Will Betelgeuse collapse in a blaze of fire? Will it quietly transform, surprising us once again? Or will it linger, keeping its secrets just a little while longer? Only time will tell. Until then, we watch, study, and remember that even the most ancient titans of the cosmos have their destinies to meet. This is Discovery 2.0, and the story of Betelgeuse is far from over.